these sort of says right um, but they're very successful I will say that we are having a very good business well mr. half tell us more about you personally and your own background yeah um, I'm from Pakistan okay I'm here around uh, now 2.5 decades so say it's my second homeland now uh, my kids all born here and they are now in, in <laughs> higher education. Right. Ground. So this is uh, like our second home that we call always. And really we have uh, got uh, all the sports like you got in your own country uh, with uh, safety, security, resources, support, nothing missing here. And this is uh, my background from uh, 26 uh, and a half years now I'm here in wow. Kuwait. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So thanks God. Uh, now we have a company and we are doing very well and we are leading our business um, in printing and indoor-outdoor signage. Right. Yeah. Now, given that you're saying that Kuwait has offered you so much being its second home, I understand that you're involved in uh, a lot of social and welfare projects. Could you tell us more about those? Uh, yes, we are having a wider range of uh, social and uh, 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 commercial activities. Those are supporting to the youth of Kuwaiti youth and international youth also, of course, for Pakistani community. So we are, first of all, sponsoring Kuwait Cricket Club, that we are print solution partner for that. We started with the scratch. Now the Kuwait team has won two matches right now in Thailand. We are very happy to see Kuwait Cricket is international level now. Second thing that we are uh, partner amongst the partners of uh, VN 2035, that name Nattahid, right. from uh, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Amir Ahmed Kuwait, al yes. Amir Kuwait. Uh, so we are also partner with that, supporting to the Kuwaiti youth that what facilities and services we have in our business, we are offering total support to make it successful from our side. So we will stay in touch, inshallah, because this is our homeland now we are calling. Right. So we'll be in touch till we reach to that. Uh, we have a dream also that we are so quite sure uh, Kuwaiti youth is very active now and uh, they are really love to study. I have seen one function they executed last month. Uh, Kuwaiti students make very, very nice projects. Those are really uh, much helpful for this VN, uh, right. VN 2035. Uh, well, third thing that we are supporting to Kuwaiti uh, business women professional network. So they are having their own social programs like uh, a lady in Gulf, successful lady. They right. are Najiha. They were, they were a program. So we are sponsored with them. They're supporting from our services again. This is to be in touch and get attacked like a nation. As Koiti nation we are, and we are here, that I said we are, uh, it's our second homeland, and this way we are having, like, national, um, uh, uh, this celebration of Hall of Ibrahim. Mm -hmm. So we do have gathering of Pakistani and Koiti community, and we celebrate at a very high level. Even coming to Hall of Ibrahim, also we are going to make common program with uh, two Koiti youth organizations and uh, three Pakistani community organizations. Right. So, inshallah, that will be a big program also. So, a lot I see is going on in giving back to the community here in Kuwait and the international community. Now, Mr. Hafid, I want to know more about what first inspired you to get involved in such endeavors. I think that uh, my family, all our staff, those are working here, and uh, me, myself, that we are earning, we are staying here, this is our life, my all career and our all life that is with the good health and my business experience. So, I think that I Muslim, that what should I deliver to the humanity? Where should I put my Thanks God, we are very much full. We have very much Again, uh, so, uh, the sponsor from Pakistan Business Center that we are supporting to make their final modules that they uh, put on display for final submission and we did in um, uh, last, last, last year in, uh, in avenues. So students were very happy. Uh, this way uh, we are supporting because this is our homeland. activities in different schools, breast cancer awareness program. Yes, tell so, us more about yeah, this. So this is the good way that we thought 
we go to the schools, we get the place where to have doctor and uh, display and information, do leaflets from the doctor, and we do branding some sort of, we, put, we give some special gift that all the year should be with the user who, who attended this. So this way, it, this information is going to the houses, going to the whole family through the students and the teachers. So this is a giant venture that we have uh, Society of Pakistani Doctors Association. We take a doctor from them that we have social teams where we are supporting like installation and deinstallation and then the schools also. So it's a uh, giant cooperation that we are having very successful programs and very good feedback through. And right. it is in pipeline that we are going to continue because many schools requested us to go to go it further. So mm -hmm. this way we are in touch in this community very actively and staying with the friendly here in Kuwait. Well, Mr. Hafid, that's great to hear, but we will be right back after this quick break. All right. blood donations and breast cancer so please yes again we are the sponsor for Pakistani blood donors in Kuwait so Pakistani community since long time is involved and uh, this was our 13th I think I believe if it's not mistaken uh, blood bank uh, central bank band of Kuwait that we go there we call our community and we donate the bloods so internally these things are going on uh, the reason is that all the Pakistani community is staying here, like me, more than two, three decades here. So this is our country. So we try to build our resources, what requires, instead of waiting in queue. So we have some sort of uh, very good system that if any patient or Pakistani patient in hospital and he requires a blood, within one hour through social media that we are ensuring that he got the blood even one bottle or ten bottles. That is depends. inspiring. Again, that thanks God that Central Blood Bank of Kuwait, they gave the shield in the Pakistan embassy. Uh, they recognized the Pakistani blood donor subsidies. And once they requested when the blood level gone low from their quantity to... also that come and donate the blood. Right. So we reached to at that level the, uh, a part of for such support. So we are happy to do this service in, in Kuwait. Right. Yeah. Now, Mr. Hafiz, in these um, social and welfare projects, you're definitely in touch with different organizations. So how welcoming are they to your projects? They are uh, very supporting, they are very happy and uh, very friendly. We don't have any problem because uh, we do have proper planning to do, to do any kind of project. We take it uh, professionally, like, like we are doing our business, we are doing our home things and we do plan. So for social services, we are having much professional people from different fields. They are gathered in a, an organization as a member, and we take their services and their knowledge, their expertise, and then we start. Yeah. So now, always we have very successful event. That's why because we have professionals, technocrats with us, those are free of charge. So they deliver their time and services and support, and the execution team is really very professional. Together as a team, at one page, they are working and... Uh, successfully, peacefully we are moving forward. Right, so Mr. Hafid, that's amazing to hear that the communication is that strong. Now, because you're in different fields and different arenas, is there a specific goal that you want to get out of this other than helping the state of Kuwait? Well, uh, if you talk about the humanity, that we are human beings also, this right. is the main cause that we are supporting others and others are supporting to us. Okay. And give and take is going on as per my abilities are different, others are different. So we share each other. This is the life we have to be, uh, move forward like this. Right. So this is the main cause. It's a very common cause mm -hmm. like others. Well, it's amazing to hear. I hope other people follow in your footsteps. Yeah, so. I have, yes, I have many, many with me. Those are working together. It's, it's a teamwork. I'm not alone. Yes. Tell us more about them then. Yeah, they are uh, from business community. They are from uh, professional fields like doctors, engineers. They are from uh, labor. Those are also helping us. You know, all kind of work is being given to the right people. The right man or right job. And we take it very professionally. And we are all together. Uh, there are some people from banks. And we have uh, some financial issues also. Then we have uh, organizational issues also. So we have the people. Those are managing, advising us. And we do uh, successful programs always because of a team. Because of giant, uh, giant venture that we have made it. If it requires 
we go to the embassy also they are very supporting to us because a lot of things that we need under their umbrella so we are not missing from anywhere when we are moving forward for any kind of social service in market okay that's amazing to hear yeah. so mr hafib you're also a very successful businessman and entrepreneur tell us what you think of the kuwaiti arena when it comes to conducting business well uh, to do business uh, as uh, common businessmen or especially in kuwait that we believe on things that uh, i advise anyone that do not start the business if you don't know that field mm. because here many people starting business and they don't know information they don't have right information about that business then they suffer from different problems so first thing the information second thing the infrastructure you must make as per the business you are going to start the third thing that when you have all these things the resources then you must to have uh, monitoring you must to have accountability right. and you must to have time management quality quantity all these things you must carry to start even a small business a big business right so once we have all these things the so best thing that daily you should do that is monitoring right if monitoring is going on very well and accountability is every day is being closed day from each and every person and you believe on a system not on a people so system is already very much matured system system will be matured only when you have proper information about that business which you are doing mm -hmm. so we believe on our uh, system we support we invest on system uh, the interesting thing in my business i'll tell you that i think we are the first company that we don't have manager in our company not centralized uh, yes totally on system system is a manager so all managers when we made this system we are having 18 managers they were just taking their reports from juniors and transferring to the seniors so transfer of information was also a, a big issue how much serious people how much they are sincere to that how much time they want to invest so we eliminated this all because system is today so smart right. so smart system is supporting to labor till the owner mm -hmm. so everyone has a system that we is reporting on that if there is any fault comes during operation and we have some complaints from customers uh, we our system is not so correct so not right. uh, optimized so we go to the system and check right. and we upgrade we have think tank team which is following that what's going on right. so we have have day closing system which everyone is having in his mobile that software so in query management system where they go and upload and mm. they can upload from the house also right the facility is given like it is their own business and uh, there is no binding that you don't leave office time is over go home take your uh, food get rest Mm -hmm. And you update what you did today. Well, what happens this Mr. way? Mr. Hafiz, I'm sure it's a very complicated yes, question yes, when it comes course, to yes, running yes, a yes. successful I business. I have put my life in that. But it's uh, all the time that we have for our interview segment tonight. So thank you for your time. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. We were just speaking to Mr. Hafiz Mohammed Shabir, who is a business partner. Now let's move on to our next report for the evening, which was about the Arab Arabic writing gathering.